Hi, I'm Susanne Matson, and in this video, we'll talk about the importance of maintaining a strong connection with the people you work with, even if you don't see eye to eye with them. You see, some years ago, I listened to a podcast interview between Andy Kaufman and Tim David, and they shared this thought that really stuck with me. The thought that every interaction you have with another person is an opportunity to either strengthen the connection you have with them or to break the connection. And the other thing they talked about that, again, really resonated with me was that people become difficult when their basic needs are not met. And that's really the key to understanding other people's reactions to you. David Rock talks about something very similar, but he uses slightly different terminology. What he says is that when you interact with another person, you either trigger them to go above the line or below the line. When somebody is above the line, they feel safe, they have expansive thinking, they're happy to brainstorm with you and share ideas, and they're open-minded. However, when somebody goes below the line, perhaps based on something you have said to them, it means they go into a threat response. They get defensive because some of their basic needs are not met. What might some of these basic needs be? Well, it could be that they feel uncertain, too much uncertainty because you have told them about some changes that are gonna happen and they're unsure how to cope with it. It could also be that you give them feedback or you somehow criticize them, whether it's deliberate or it's something that you've done unintentionally. They go into this fear response. Oh my God, is this person suggesting that I'm not good at my job? Could I lose my job as a result? And they go into this defensive mode or perhaps they completely run away from the whole thing. Or it could be that they feel not accepted, not included. There's a lot of talk these days about inclusion in the workplace. Inclusion is another basic need we have. We all have this need to be loved and accepted and included. Because back in the days, that was what could secure our very survival. If you were outcast, you could not survive. So these primitive behaviors really stem from how our brain is wired and how we are wired to survive. So when you're in conversation with somebody at work, and they may be, maybe you're picking up that they are reacting to you in a way you didn't expect, or you're locking horns somehow. Think about what some of these basic behaviors are that they're not getting fulfilled. And think about, be deliberate about your interaction. Do you deliberately want to put somebody down? Or if this is a team member of yours and you want to give them feedback, it will serve both of you better if you deliver the feedback in a way that they can still stay expansive. You can still make them feel safe, that you can help them with the feedback you're giving them. You see, it's very possible to have challenging conversations with somebody and still make them feel accepted and safe. That, at the end of the day, is the key to building strong relationships and building trust at work. Thank you for watching.